What's going on guys? Joy Fondry back with another of the notes. Hope you guys liked the last video of the Supercon. That was fun. Anyway, um, today, like I said in my last video, I'm gonna be bringing all the car parts, which is right over there, over to Horse Power Logic. Jack's gonna look through it, make sure we have everything. I know we have everything, but it's always good to have him double check. Uh, the harness and the hob switch and the, um, the sensor for the True Boost should be there now. Uh, so then we just got to plan a date to install everything. So I'm thinking hopefully next week because uh, this week I work two days and I go to Key West for four and then I'm off. So I'm just going to do it probably next week and we'll do a full video on that. It'll be on my channel and Jack Cecil's channel from Horsepower Logic. So I got to figure out if this box is going to fit in my car. If not, I might just have to take some stuff out and uh, rearrange it into small boxes. So let's go ahead and get ready, drinking my coffee, like I always do in all my videos, and let's head to Horsepower Logic. that everything's in there box is empty boom so let's head the horsepower logic All the parts here went through it everything's good the harness the hob switch and the sensor for the true boost are on the way should be here either tomorrow or the next day looking good so i just have to schedule an appointment well not schedule an appointment schedule uh, me and jack are making a make a day for us to uh, have an open lift so we can just work on it one day maybe two get everything down dialed in um he wanted to do everything while we have the, the harness and all that stuff because he didn't want to put everything together and then wait for the harness to come in and then take the back seat back out and run the wiring so it's good so two more days we'll have everything and then the install will be uh complete we'll, we'll be doing the install and i'll be videoing the whole install so super excited all right guys new day um, as you saw, all the parts are there. Um, the other stuff just came in, the switch and all the stuff. I gotta work today, I gotta work tomorrow, and then I'm going to Key West for four days. So when I get back, install. It's gonna happen. No more Joey 400. Going for seven, 750. I might keep it a little lower depending on how my clutch is gonna hold up. I got like a little over 10,000 miles on the twin disc Exedi HD clutch. So I'm pretty sure it'll hold for a little bit, but then I'm probably gonna have to upgrade. And then also I wanna keep some strain off the transfer case, the axles and the transmission. Even though the, the 2014, 15 and final edition transmissions are technically the stage three, uh, before it was the 2013 all the way to 2008, it was made with like a glass transmission transfer case. So once it hit 2014, they basically made that the stage three. That's why it, it's all notchy and you know, it's, it's pretty good, but it can't hold more than I think 650 700 foot pounds of torque so i'm not going to push it that hard so with that being said this evo is very dirty and i'm going to go ahead and clean it and um yeah so 
guess you guys are just gonna watch me clean my car. <laughs> See ya. So I drove over this unpaved white dirt road and it's just everywhere over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the engine bay first and then I'll do the exterior and then the interior. Uh, best thing I use for this is Simple Green. She works fantastic. Spray it on everything, obviously cover up your intake. I'll probably take the intake off, clean that. Um, I need a new filter actually, things all fucking messed up uh cover the math and then the ecu and you'll be good to go so let's go ahead and spray this thing down and clean it this thing is a little beat up it's also it still works but um this is the best way to clean it you're gonna get a bucket obviously clean the bucket you're gonna uh go ahead and throw some simple green in there probably about a cup and then fill the rest up with water and let this soak in there for about an hour and then you're gonna shake it around and then spray it off with your hose and then dry it and then lubricate it and you should be good. So we'll get the color here. It's gonna be a lot lighter, especially down here. So let's go ahead and clean this. wipe it have to wipe it down it's all dry to the most part uh you want to take some wd-40 i know this attracts dirt but it also acts as a lubricant and disperses water it keeps everything shiny in here but i just i just fucking spray my whole shit with wd-40 it's not gonna hurt anything i've been doing this for fucking years on all my cars so if you guys think it hurts something you guys can kick rocks and then you just wipe it down damn how clean that is yeah that's how you do it boys all right it's time to clean the exterior all right car is air dried a nice uh wet and dry vac now i didn't use that on the car Relax, I use that on the wheels and my roof at the top because the roof at the top is ass. It's AIDS all over it, so it doesn't matter. Um, so now, shake this up. You can see all this shit floating in here. All the grease, oil, dirt. Take this out, spray it off with some water and then use the wet and dry vac again and blow all this air out. And then I use a little bit of WD-40 to lubricate this. Uh, I don't have the K&N um, oil, but I'm not going to drench it. Just, you know, s s like, just do a little bit of the WD-40. So, let me blow this out and then reinstall it. All right. Filter's on. Clean. This one's already clean. I cleaned it, like, a few days ago. Oiled up. Um, 
if you have a ball valve and it, it releases to the atmosphere, make sure, because if you use a degreaser, it's gonna take all the lubrication off, off the cylinder. So make sure you uh, shoot some WD-40 off in there or just take the whole thing off, take it apart, clean it, and then put more lubricant on it. But I literally just cleaned that when I cleaned that filter the other day. So we should be good to go on that. So let's start the car. <sighs> Let it burn off some of that water that's on that stupid heat wrap. Before I wax the outside and clean the windows, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the inside of the car. I'm gonna do all the fabric first with my fabric cleaner, and then I'm gonna wipe down the inside with Armor All, you know, same old shit, different day, and vacuum it. I haven't done the inside in a long time. So I was like, just shit everywhere. So, all right. So this stuff's the best bang for your buck. I think both of them, one of them's like, 799 899 whatever turtle wax super protectant it lasts for a really long time and it shines at it pretty good and it cleans it as well and then upholstery cleaner works really good as too as as well not as too as well and also has the scrubber on it so works really good so if you guys are at AutoZone, auto parts any fucking place you go to pick up some of this stuff it's really good for fabric and plastic Damn, your baby looking clean. Them seats came out pretty good. Not bad for six year old seats. This is still drying a little bit. And the carpets, carpets are red now. They were like a gray. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wax the outside. I gotta clean the door jams first and then wax the outside and then clean the windows and put some tire shine on. We'll be good to go. <clears throat> All right, for the, I use Quick Slick for a wax, quick detailer. It's really good, I got it from my friend. He gave me a whole bunch of um, products by, what is this? Croftgate USA. I use the tire shine, it's on there right now. So I'm about to use this Quick Slick, wipe this down, do the whole car and the windows, and then pull it in the garage and we'll be done. How fucking bad this is. Ugh. Gross. Let's make her clean again. Finished product right there. Clean. Still waiting for my splitter from Jimmy. So, but other than that, clean. All right, guys. I gotta get ready for work. Just got done to clean the car obviously you guys just saw so like i said next video well it was supposed to be this video but next video is going to be me installing a turbo kit at horsepower logic like comment and subscribe